Like I come from the era of chronic. You feel me? As long as it was chronic, we were smoking it. You feel me? I started smoking weed when I was like seven, eight. Yeah, I was eleven. So back then, it was about the ste. As long as you took out the seeds and the stems, you was Gucci. Good. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> the, the percentage, bro. There wasn't even a name on weed back then. It had to be chronic. If you, as long as it was chronic, it was good. If it was mid, ah, all right. Then it was that Mexican weed. <laughs> that brown brick shit. <laughs> What's the most you paid for the eighth? What's the most you ever paid? At what point in time in my life? I mean, at the worst, you know, like I've gotten hit for probably 20 a G. See? 65 and eight. History they, repeats itself. Knocking heads. So back in the day in California, and when I say back in the day, I'm talking like 2000 and. Seven ish, you feel me? Between two thousand and like four to like two thousand eight ish, motherfuckers was paying easy all day fifty dollars for an eighth. I once paid eighty. Nigga, who got grapes? You feel me? The little black purple beady balls. You feel me? We had grapes and all kind of other shit, but like the starting rate was fifty bucks in the hood. Then moving out here to Portland, where weed is damn near fucking free, <laughs> you feel me? I didn't came across some gas for the low low. But this mm-hmm. is the thing: I wasn't buying weed on some. Oh, I need a sack. I was the nigga selling weed. So my version of buying weed is different from everybody else's because I'm looking for the QP. You feel me? I'm trying to. You feel me? Flip my shit around this motherfucker. So. I remember the last time that I've ever paid top notch for just a sack in the street. Or not a sack, but like a zip on the streets to flip. Bro, I remember when zips was 200. Yeah. 200. Like, what kind of money are you going to make buying a, a zip for 200? Nigga, we was t- idiots. <laughs> <laughs> we was straight dummies. <laughs> you feel me? So... Yeah, now that we got dispensaries, weed is legal. Man, this shit is legal and fucking free. <laughs> it's it's damn near free. It feel like it. Well, uh, what kind of weed you be into? You in the indicas or sativas? I'm in the uppers. Uh, these are not pills, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I, I, we, we had this discussion before. I really, I really don't know what the weed is. As long uh, as it keeps me up, I'm bro, good. You want to go up on a sack? Yeah, let me get uh, two benzos. <laughs> Nigga, I said a sack, bro. Nah, I really, I really don't know my weed. So yet. sativa. So I'm, yeah, whatever. Sativa yeah. is is the one that gives you the energy. You feel me? Don't get it fucked up. You might come across some sativa, like some uh, squirt or some motherfucking uh, some motherfucking cereal milk. You feel me? That's some gas. That motherfucking Jack Herrera. That's some gas. It'll knock you on your ass. I need but, the shit that make me want to get up and just start cleaning the house. Some Adderall type weed. Bro, what about green, you, Jay? Smoking that green crack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was like, no, we ain't having this conversation. Bro, no, I'm not going there, bro. <laughs> Usually sativas, but I, I've been fucking heavy the indicas lately. In the couch. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, Jacob Jacob be pushing with the uh, with the indicas. So, because uh-huh. he really do. So, I, I, I be blessed sometimes because when I smoke, I be smoking at night now. So, just because I know he's going to give me some indica. So, so, yeah, he... the. Mac and cheese that he just pushed on me in, in June. We were when we were in San Diego. He gave me some indica shit, nigga, and I mixed that with the Don Julio, nigga. I was out. <laughs> I mixed- Bro, it's, it's a trip to hear people like really talk about how they smoke weed from a medicine standpoint. Because I'm a functioning pie head. You feel yeah. me? Like I wake up, wake and bake, smoke. Not you me. feel me? But I'm smoking nothing but gas. You feel me? I'll, like I said, I'll fuck with the indica. Sh- I mean, the sativa shit here and there. And that's just more so because of Jen. Like she, she's a, a lightweight. So it's like, yeah. I got to find that, that heavy lightweight shit for me. See, I'm the lightweight. So I could smoke, but I, I need the indica. I want uh we I need the gas. I need the the uh wax. I'll, ta- I'll take I the need gas. the keef. I'm not asking for the weakest shit, but I'm asking for the shit that's not going to put me down because like for me, uh, indica. Yeah, cuz cuz for me, I need the shit to be able to I want to smoke and drive and work, you feel me? Like I want to be able to be in the studio and still work and I want to be able to be in the car and still be See, able to function. I can do that, but I like I said my tolerance is is higher, you feel yeah. me? So I'm used to 
rolling up, you feel me, straight gas, about four, five blunts, hop on the freeway, drive to the beach, and smoke two the whole See, way I there. Wasn't, I wasn't a weed head growing up, though. That's the thing, too. I was I was really into the bezels, and, you know, I was into the things and shit like that. So When did you actively, like, start smoking weed? High school, end of high school year, my senior year. What year was that? Like, 2012, yeah. 2012 is when you really... Yeah, but I was knocking, but I was smoking weed... In like middle school, but I was really pushing the piz and the lean in middle school, high school. So when it came to the when it came to the weed situation, because it, it, to me it was the drug test and shit like that. Okay. So that's why it was really what it is. So like they were they were drug testing me for scholarships and they were drug testing me for when it came to like the, the POs and shit like that. So I didn't really care about the weed as much. I knew you can get yay out your system fast and you can get this out your system fast. Yeah, so, it's like three days for the powder, yeah. four days for some powder. Yeah, four days for the powder. Damn, nigga, this smell like some gas. My bad, bro. <laughs> no, Ooh, I saw God. your face. I saw your face. So yeah, I was knocking. I was knocking the. Uh, bro, you smell this. That shit look. That shit look full too. The way he has it packaged, I like how he has. There's it two pre rolls in there. Yeah, that shit look. That smells like gas, huh? That's a mind fuck too, because I really thought it was more than just two. Oh damn, these are some thick ass. Oh. That reminded me. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, hold Put on. Put your nose in that bag, boy. Yeah, that shit look hard. Yeah. That Go Lotto thin. Cake. Go Lotto Cake. Okay. Yeah, that, the way he had the package on this bitch, it looked thick. But yeah, I, I ain't really pushed the weed limit until after, uh, there you go, Jay. Until after um, I had my surgery. Because after that, I fucked off my scholarship. I ain't even care no more. Uh, what scholarship? I had a scholarship for PSU to play oh, you football. you hear this? This scholarship DJ marketer PSU. What were we gonna play? Rapper. I was supposed to play football, and I fucked up my foot going to a basketball game. And nigga, I was because I was skinny. Like right now, a lot of niggas be like, "Nigga, you fat as fuck." It's it, always the fat niggas that said, "Oh, I was skinny." Yeah, nigga, I was really skinny for a dead ass. <laughs> I was skinny, nigga. <laughs> you see how hard this J hey, bro, I ran a four or five flat back in the day, nigga. So, nigga, I was really back skinny. in the day when you was what like six? Nah, nigga, high school, senior year. I was Z wide receiver. Okay. So I was really pushing it, nigga. I was really out there. So I was supposed to take that shit. That shit do smell good. Bro, though. this shit smell fire. I'm <laughs> acting like a female about this weed, bro. <laughs> but yeah, no, after after I fucked off the scholarship because I ended up having to get surgery and they, okay. told, they told me not to fuck with it. Hold on, fuck your foot. Uh bro, do you do see, you see this? how they rock that shit? That's not is that really a pre roll? Yeah, this is the that rich, looks like a Cuban joint. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. Hey, they wrapped that in the rich 1882. Got, rich got a compo out here. I like how they wrapped that shit. That's clean, too. It ain't even fucked. And you ain't seen no veins. No, this ain't a, a, a wood. This is like them, them zigzag wraps. Oh, okay. But still, just the way that it's put together, bro, that that's like a whole gari. Okay, yeah. That's, that look like a thick-ass black and uh, What is this, mid-cannabis uh, collection? <laughs> Yeah, we smoking Chiba. Hey, bro, that looks like a oh, hold up the thicker than a black and mild nigga. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say we don't need to torch it up. It's always the white boy that want to take it to the next yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, torch that bitch, nigga. Run it out, bro. We gonna smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for the people listening, it's going down. Yeah, that shit look thick as fuck. Pause. Oh, <laughs> bro, homo. <laughs> I said it way too many times. Three times the limit before you got to pause yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jay? When did you start smoking weed? Uh, probably the first time I was like young, like 10, 11, 12. And then regularly like from 14. When's the first time you on? smoked weed that it was like not even designer weed, but it was like... Oh shit! They got a name for this. Him or me? Him. I know you. You was probably different for a whole reason. So I ain't gonna ask you that question. <laughs> but him, cause you know niggas, they be like, "Hey nigga, we just found some weed, nigga. He gave us five five dollars for this, you know, situation." Yeah. But you don't know the name. Like, when was it when you first was like, "Hey nigga, this is gelato." <laughs> it, was, it was high school, and it was like exactly some like mailed in shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Where they could crack your head for twenty bucks an eight. Or twenty bucks a gram, eighty bucks an eighth if they wanted to. Man. Yeah, that's what I mean because it they, you can't get it where I'm from. Yeah, it's crazy. All the states are legalized or in, around the Midwest. Bro, twenty dollars a gram, bro. Listen to this. All I the, all put the states somebody are, in their mouth. They told me some <laughs> shit like that right now. All the states are legal now. They're they are still trying to make it where uh, you, you can't have it, you can't grow it. Don't even look like you look like you were on it. 
That's crazy. Yeah. I remember my first time even going to a dispensary to buy some weed. This nigga told me, he said, this is the weed. He said it was an indica. But then he said, nigga, and then we dipped the bitch in oil. Yeah. And I said, you dipped the bitch in oil? They went, pause, wait a minute, what? I they said, what roll the it oil? in Keith. And then they roll it in Keith. So I had a three-timer from New Amsterdam, and I hit that shit, nigga. I forgot about life that whole day, nigga. I even called work. Hey, I ain't coming in for this. I remember one. when uh, me and this nigga Fetty used to work at... Uh, at the pot shop and shit, nigga. Uh, on our breaks, we used to get those because us being employees, we get it for the discount. You yeah. feel me? And plus, when you got your card, you get it for the medical price. Right. So we out there, nigga. Lunch so break, you had a smoking. Discount with the medical, nigga. Come on, bro. I need to get my medical. Nigga, shit we out. smoking motherfucking dipsticks. That's twenty dollars, but we paying five. Fucking damn near ten. You feel me? Eleven bucks, nigga, on some gas. Nigga in the car getting keyed, nigga. I'm back up at there. 20 minutes later, stuck on stupid, nigga. Yeah, about this weed. I, bro, I smoke weed all fucking day long. Give me ass track. That's all a nigga doing this bitch. But, um, yeah, man. If y'all remember the last podcast, 94 wasn't with us. Bro was on the road, handling this motherfucking music shit. Feel me? Running this marathon. Man. Making a name for himself across the state lines. You feel me, BPE and this motherfucker. What was uh, what what kind of show did y'all go and do? Hey, bro. The first time or the second time? Was that the again? first time you didn't you take off with the fam? I took off with the family, but we did some shit right before there. We just did a little lightweight party up in the in the bay, and then um, then we got stuck in Vegas. Did the shit in Vegas, slipped out. Came back, came back for a few days, and then left again. And then to we uh, go. to Dago, well, not to uh, to Fresno first. Fresno, we had a Derrick King and Lil Pete show, okay, uh, with Jay Stalin. Yeah, how'd yeah. that go? Man, that was cooling. That was cooling. Uh, it was a, uh, it was hot. <laughs> I had a video with me and Jay. Me it, and Jay it wasn't but, as hot as it was up here. No, nah, it was hot. It was hot in Fresno, nigga. It was hot, nigga. It was still like a hundred something degrees. I know y'all were fucking with it too, the hundred something degrees. Bro, I was in when I was in Vegas. It was one twenty in certain spots. So when I left Vegas, I came here. Nigga, I was like, oh, man, it's, it's, at least it's 102. <laughs> nigga, because it was 120 in Vegas. And then when I left and went to uh, to Fresno, it was like a 108, nigga. And uh, and because of the situation that happened the night before, we ain't, me and Jacob didn't have no time to pack. Mm -hmm. So we basically walked into there and was like, live wire store. We need sweats. Oh, the niggas yeah. went in there and dropped the bag real quick. Nah, I mean, we live wire niggas. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we distributed through live wire right now. So, the, the mm -hmm. bag was free. <laughs> so, we got the free little custom right. for that. But, so, yeah, we, uh, you know, Abby the Curse dropped us, gave us some clothes and shit like that. Because he knew we ain't, we ain't came into town with clothes. And then we went and did the shit at the Azteca um, a theater and shit like that. And we was hot, too. It was hot there too, nigga, to the point when I, when I went upstairs after uh, the other DJ needed to come in and do what he was doing, um, and after we got done performing, I went upstairs and this nigga Jay, he, Jay Stalin, his ass is just laid out on the cot on the couch talking about nigga, it's hot, <laughs> nigga. They got an AC blowing in the air. There's like 17 niggas standing around the AC like it was one of fucking just smelling breath, just trying to get it, just trying to get some air, nigga. Fuck that. It was it was hot, man. To the point, me and Jacob were just like fuck it, nigga. We leave it, nigga. We got to go. We got to go to the hotel after this point. But overall, it was a good trip. Oh, yeah, nigga. We, uh, we went down there for the mission. We completed it. And then we went down there again for the... Uh, we went to Dago for uh, Big June. Man, we got to be in the studio with the Shout OG. Out OG. Yeah, we got to be in the studio with OG. Did the music video outside the studio. Nigga, you I guys shot a video with him? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, we shot a video. What's going on with, with your project? Because wasn't your shit supposed to drop on the 4th? Nah, my, my project is dropping on the 11th. You pushed it back. Yeah, I pushed it back because we were waiting on. Um, we still waiting on a few, a few uh, collabs to come in, and once we get those collabs, we gonna do it. But if he don't, if they don't get million on that thing. Yeah, he is, man. There's a couple big names on them bitches, bro. Feel Niggas me. don't know about. It. There's a couple big names on it, but we waiting for um, like two more collabs, and then some mastering, and then I th I want to go in there and do some more shit. I want to I want to test out old boy that you sent me to. So I want to I see. Yeah, nah, I want to do the gigs collab. I need to get that shit. Oh, you talking about the engineer? The engineer, yeah. yeah. I, need to, I need to test him out. Shout out JLR Audio. Yeah, I want to try him out for some R and B shit. And uh, cause dope. Like yeah. I said, uh, I've done. I've I've when I fuck with somebody, I fuck with them the long way. You yeah. feel me? Why I switch up anything? I fucked with one engineer for like two or three projects. 
over four years, and then um, I've been fucking with Bruh ever since uh, Blue Aries 1. So we did Blue Aries 1. Now we done knocked out Blue Aries 2. I done did a couple of uh, songs with Rich. Um,